Got a donkey, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so hot, yeah? I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. One of our best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So go ahead and make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss an upload from moi. And make sure that you are following me on all my social medias because I do post there outside of YouTube. Okay? So in today's video, I'll show you guys how to get this, like, pretty auburn ginger but like summer vibe type of hair because it's wet it's curly like the wet curly look is really much so very much so in right now but i think the minimal look is super duper cute so if you want to see exactly how i got this color because it took a little it took a little something something okay if you want to see how i got the color with the water color method then keep on watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Okay, you guys so thank you so much original queen hair for sponsoring today's video again i love working with you guys so before we get into the water coloring we're gonna do a quick unboxing this is a deep wave brazilian 26 inch and 180 percent density wig um i asked for a gingered colored wig and to be honest this was a little bit too much on the orangey side for me so i am going to be water coloring it today okay you also get some other goodies in the box you get some eyelashes that you will actually wear like those are cute you get a little card with all of the information that you need and you get a wig cap so we love that today i will be using three different bottles of adore dye but you want to make sure that you protect your lace so i'm going to be spraying that with some gatsby spray and you want to make sure that it dries before you start water coloring it so i'm going to use my blow dryer also i want to mention that the wig comes with four combs and the little band in the back to make it all nice and snug so we love that here are the colors that i'll be using from adore um, I think these are like $10 a piece from my beauty supply, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm using honey brown, sienna brown, and cinnamon to get the perfect colors. So, I think they worked really well in my case because I already had an orange wig. So, I was basically just layering these colors on top. So, what you want to do for the water coloring process is make sure that you have boiling hot water. Y'all see that steam, baby? Yeah, the hair has to go in hot boiling water because you got to make sure that the dye like actually penetrates the hair and gets well incorporated into the water. So right now I'm just putting in a little dye at a time and I'm mixing it all up with my comb. In a second I'm going to put gloves on as you can see because the water is super super hot. So this is basically protecting my hands from getting any dye on them and making sure that my skin don't boil off girl. So yeah, I'm just dipping the hair in as you see. I'm gonna make sure that I test it out first. Um, a lot of people use paper towels to test it, but that don't make sense to me because the paper towel isn't gonna take the hair. I mean, it isn't gonna take the color like the hair does. So I like to test a little strip in the back. Don't do the front in case you don't like it. Um, and yeah, add more dye as you see fit. And I'm basically going to let you guys watch this whole process. And I'll jump back in when need be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't gotta be lit right now.
so here is the final result of how the color came out it was like a brownish ginger with orange undertones and it was so pretty to me i wanted to um not mess with the texture of the hair so i just let it air dry overnight and then i went and um installed it the next day so girl my cap look a little crazy don't even judge me it's not a pillow nap as i was doing my makeup but i'm about to go ahead and install this unit if you want to see a full in-depth video of me installing my hair then i will link another video down below but that wasn't the focus of today's video so just to let y'all know i use eben lace tint to help get my lace to match my actual skin tone and then yeah like i said already i'm just gonna install it and all i do is use ghost bond glue as my adhesive to install my unit so make sure that you allow the lace tint to dry and if you're getting this exact wig i hope you got a small head or like get a bigger head like size cap because it was a little you know it was a little tight on me but we made it work okay we got it together and let's get into how my roots are a little bit darker than the rest of the hair we love that um basically i focused the roots of the wig into like the darkest color when I was watercoloring it like i just think it's so pretty okay if you like loose wave hair that's colored this is for you i know it says deep wave but the curl texture isn't that tight so i went off camera to install the hair i'm laying it down right now with my elastic band and you guys the curl is actually really pretty at first i wasn't feeling it to be honest because it's, it's looser than i expected for deep waves but it's really pretty and the hair was still very much so soft okay so in a second i'm just going to show you guys how I get the hair looking super duper cute. All the products that I use. Um, it's very self-explanatory. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to play y'all some music. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah. But I was down and down like last week. Tell me where have you been? like i don't want to do nothing more to it i tried to do a little braid but honestly i feel as though um this hair kind of went through a lot of a lot of processing and it's like um it's getting 
it's i'm just experiencing some tangles and some shedding so in order to you know not mess up the hair anymore and to keep it as pretty as possible i'm just going to leave it like this i think the hair has been through a lot of processing okay remember that the wig already came to me processed and it was orange so i'm sure that they probably i'm not sure if the hair was 613 or not but i'm sure it went through that coloring process and then i colored it myself a couple of times to get the perfect color um i used three different colors today and i like bleached a part of the hair in the back this hair been through a lot okay so she's still really soft though so definitely love that the hair didn't come with no smell i love that when it says 180 percent density it means it i can't wait until the hair like dries or whatever because i know it's going to be even bigger um so yeah those are the things that i really liked about the hair so yeah make sure y'all check the description box for all of the links if you want to purchase this wig if i have a code it'll be on the screen or in the description box and yeah i like this color on me though her so make sure that you like comment share subscribe comment down below what video or what hairstyle you want to see me in next and i'll see y'all soon bye mamas Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch, on it.